Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to uh, 3XY and uh, today we have a very special interview with a gentleman that's come across the world to visit us here in Melbourne. Um, he is the Executive Director of the Hellenic Initiative, Mr. Mark Array. Mark, welcome to 3XY, welcome to Melbourne, Australia. Thank you very much. Um, this is my first trip to Australia and I have to say, uh, it's just spectacular. I'm really deeply impressed with, with Australia, with Melbourne, with everything I've been experiencing, so thank you. Well, I think it's most important to, to mention, uh, Mark, I had the pleasure and, the, and indeed a pleasure to meet you yesterday at a very special uh, press conference that took place at the Greek uh, Community Building. And, uh, of course, uh, you, talked to, uh, you had a chat to us in regards to the Hellenic Initiative and uh, in our newspaper, Tanea, today we have a huge article that says, gathers momentum in Australia. So obviously your trip here um, has a purpose. Yes, indeed it does. The Hellenic Initiative, as uh, some of your uh, listeners uh, may know, it was founded in 2012 by uh, prominent men and women of the Greek diaspora, mostly from America, but we have two from Australia as well, uh, Nick uh, Pappas and Nick Mitaros, uh, one from Sydney and the latter uh, from Perth. Yes. Um, of course, the chairman of THI, as we call it, the Hellenic Initiative, is Andrew Liveris, who's a name probably known to most of your uh, audience. Yes. Um, and the purpose of the Hellenic Initiative was very simple. The diaspora, which has been quite successful at many, many levels, coming together and even inviting Philhellenes to do something for Greece in this time of tremendous economic stress. And we do philanthropic charitable work, working with non-governmental organizations. And we also do work with entrepreneurs and, and young uh, Greeks in Greece who are struggling to find work and to keep work and to make their life better. Um. If I, if I could mention, Mark, uh, what's, what's very interesting to me is that, uh, and I think it would be to our listeners, that uh, you weren't born in Greece or, or anything like that, but you certainly are a very, uh, a very strong Philhellene. And uh, your background, uh, you were a clergyman of the Greek Orthodox Archdiocese of America with 34 years there, from what I, I know and uh, certainly very involved with the Greek community and from your discussions yesterday, very passionate about Greece. Well, I mean, I am a Philhellene. I'm not ashamed of it. I'm very proud of it. Uh, I was honored to be able to serve in the uh, Archdiocese of America as a clergyman, as a parish priest, and as an administrator for a very long time. But as your audience may also know, uh, uh, remarriage uh, for the laity is permitted, but not for the clergy. And yes. Uh, Adam and I came to a certain point in my life, much to my surprise, uh, happily surprised, I desired to remarry, and I did so. But of course, that means your ecclesiastical career and your service as a clergyman is over. Over, that's but, right. Uh, still serving the community, uh, very involved with the community, and, and, and very proud to be involved with the community. Fantastic. I um, also had uh, uh, went on the website and, uh, of course, had a look at uh, the Hellenic Initiative website. And can I say, very impressed indeed, uh, especially um, if I could mention that uh, Bill Clinton, um, the, uh, the former president of the USA, is, is a patron and uh, features quite heavily uh, in, in some uh, articles. And uh, I like what he says here when he says, the Greeks will feel that the world and their brothers and sisters are supporting them. And I think that probably sums up the initiative itself, why it uh, came about. Um, as you mentioned uh, um, at the beginning of uh, the interview, that it's uh, due to the economic uh, situation of Greece that uh, uh, many, many uh, Greeks uh, abroad are very concerned and uh, would like to help, and this is a good way that they can get involved and help Greece. Yes, and that's not to say, let's, let's be clear, Ross, that the Greeks haven't been helping for years. Many organizations, Siloji, uh, I'm sure here in Australia, uh, the Greek Chamber of Commerce or, or the Greek organizations, many organizations, and the Archdiocese, both of Australia, I know of America, uh, have been have been helpful to Greece. Have 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 responded with great charitable work 
through the decades. The Hellenic Initiative isn't, isn't ignoring any of that. Obviously, we know that history. But we are trying to bring together uh, leaders from around the world to, to leverage, if you will, to, to, to make uh, possible uh, for, for a wider swath of the diaspora, if you will, because there's a lot of diaspora Greeks in the world, uh, to get involved if they choose to. Uh, you know, we're not, we're not an umbrella organization. We're not uh, trying to uh, replace any other group. We're simply trying to add to the good efforts that there have been in the past and to make more effort in the future. Well, I think it's important also to mention that the organization is a non-for-profit organization. Yes, it's a not-for-profit. It's uh, completely not-for-profit uh, established in the United States. Uh, the, the, the people who donate to it want to donate, uh, and it's a transparent uh, organization. Uh, we publish our audits uh, as, as not-for-profits do in the United States. They're accessible on the web. Uh, and we do that because we want to uh, give confidence to people that if they do make a donation uh, for a specific program or just a generic donation for any of the many programs that, that, that the Hellenic Initiative is utilizing the best diligence in Greece, that we're, we have a great deal of attention and care so that we make sure that the donations go to the right people uh, and serve uh, and are accountable for. Well, uh, talking of initiatives, uh uh, as you mentioned, uh, 2012 is uh, when the uh, Hellenic Initiative was founded. Well, I can have a look at a list of things that already have been achieved, and congratulations to everyone involved. We're talking about uh, um, just a few to mention. The initiative announces a new grant of 300000 to the International Orthodox Christian Charities. Um, uh, nearly $2 million uh, was raised in an annual banquet. Could you talk to us about that? That's, that's a big figure to be raised on in uh, in one night yes it's 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 our banquet we had the first one in 2013 the last one uh, last year in october 2014 and the next one is coming in this year in september i believe we haven't announced the exact date yet but we're getting close to it um but uh, these uh, are occasions they're social occasions uh, but at the same time uh, it's a um, it's a charity event and everyone understands that it's a charity event and we have some very generous generous people who make extraordinary donations uh, to, because they know that the money is going to go to help feed a hungry child or help a, a person get medicine who needs it or help a young entrepreneur uh, or, or help a young person get a job who doesn't have a job. I mean, a lot of us, I mean, there's always tough economic times. Everybody would like to be doing better perhaps than they already are. But Greece has a 60% youth unemployment rate. That's staggering. That's, that, actually, I don't think that people either in America or in Australia can probably really understand what that feels like in the society. I mean, it's devastating. And, it, and, and people lose hope. They lose confidence in themselves. And even though Greece has... Yes, it has vast economic problems. We all know. We have read the papers. But nevertheless, the THI likes to think of itself as having an impact in the lives of human beings, of the individual, of families. I mean, uh, that's, that's where the real value comes from, because if you change one person's life for the better, that change ripples. There's an effect right that, that spreads. And, and we're hoping that, you know, we're not in this for a, a short term. We're not in this for any uh, personal glory or reputation. The, the members of our board, if, if you Google any of their names, uh, they don't need anything more than that which they have. They have praise. They have accomplishment. They have many, many things. Uh, they've been tremendously blessed, and they've worked tremendously hard to achieve much. But what they want to do is they want to give back, and they want to give back in an effective way, and also with some pride in the diaspora. The diaspora, I have to tell you, just my few days in Melbourne, the diaspora here has, has achieved remarkable things. I was so impressed by the Greek Center. I, we don't have anything comparable to that in, in New York. Mm. I went to the Greek Museum. 
yes. uh, and saw the Benaki exhibit, I was I was overwhelmed. I mean, uh, yes, we have the Hellenic Museum in Chicago, but I mean, uh, this is really uh, showing a cohesive community, a community that is proud of itself. So tapping into that pride and tapping into that success, we're trying to also, uh, you know, bring it back to Greece, where, where it originally came from, by the way. That's right. Well, Mark, uh, I understand, I know you're very, very busy, but uh, I, I suppose just to finish off this lovely interview and discussion with yourself, um, can we just talk about um, the goals now? Obviously, you're here in Australia talking to people, but uh, from what you touched on yesterday, um, the whole idea is for this, this initiative, and what a great word too, the Hellenic Initiative, I love it. Um, obviously, you'd like this initiative to be embraced all around the world by Hellenes. Um, and the diaspora. Well, that was always, uh, Ross, the intention from the beginning. I mean, the, uh, the initial initiative meeting brought together people from England, from France, from, uh, from the United States, from Greece, uh, from Australia. Uh, but we also understand that each place where the diaspora landed, whether it's Canada, whether it's Argentina, whether it's South Africa or Australia, the diaspora has molded itself, you know, to comport to the country and to the land that it's in. So we are very excited, and I can tell you that the THI board, uh, Chairman Liveris, and all the members of the board are very excited about the fact that THI is, uh, the, the structure is emerging in Australia, and I'm sure in the next 30 to 60 days there'll be some formal announcements made about, you know, who is going to be on the board, how it's going to, what it's going to be doing. Yes. And, and just the fact that Australia is, in a sense, taking the lead as a country, uh, as a sovereign state, to, to, to bring THI a truly global uh, presence. Mm. Uh, I call it the globalization of THI, by, and that's why I'm here in Australia, to assist in any way that I can, uh, it, it, there was the entire trip was based on an open book policy. No one had written a single word about what we're going to do or how we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to Sydney uh, as well uh, to meet with uh, our partners in Sydney, was particularly with Mr. McPappas, who is a THI board member, and I was able to meet with Mr. Uh, Mitaros, Nick Mitaros, when he flew from Perth to Melbourne just to meet. So. Um, it, it, it's it's really exciting to see the Australian diaspora Greek community uh, become this involved and want to give this type of a contribution to Greece. Fantastic. Well, Mark, uh, obviously from all of us here, and I'm sure the Greek community at large of uh, Melbourne and Victoria who listen to... Uh, to 3XY Radio. Um, they're certainly behind such a very, very positive initiative and uh, we hope that you achieve those goals and uh, we certainly will be here to support uh, all your endeavours and look forward to speaking to you again. Uh, even if it's from uh, uh, far away, now with uh, technology, you're around the corner now. You're not that far in America. So That's true. I, I, I just finished talking with my wife in New York City, so, so I, uh, I'm, 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 I'm delighted to be here, and I can assure you it won't be the last. This is my first trip to Melbourne and Australia, but it will surely not be my last. Fantastic, Mark. Well, all the very best. Congratulations, and Kalitihi. Uh, Evkome ola na Thank you, Mark.